joined by Marcus Thornton and uh, Terry Tarpy. Coach Shaver will be along in uh, just a little bit. Uh, but if you have questions for any of the players, uh, raise your hand. We'll bring the mic around. Hey, Marcus. Marcus, with you being, you know, from around here, from Upper Marlboro, what does it mean to come back here, you know, perform the way you did here last year, and especially this year, you know, coming out with the game you had tonight? It's great, you know, uh, it's great playing in front of a home crowd. You know, I have a lot of family here, a lot of friends. Uh, so it's a good environment for my young. Um, Samson went out of the game for them with the four fouls. Seems like you guys really opened it up after that. What was the key to getting that run going? Uh, defense, you know, um, well, we're good on defense, rebound the ball. We can really get out in transition, you know, make stuff happen, make plays. Have a lot of guys that can score the ball and make plays for each other. So, you know, uh, starting there, and then we're able to get out in transition and just play freely. We're, we're pretty good. Yeah, for, either, for either one of you guys, what, what was the defensive emphasis today? What were you guys trying to do? Yeah. Um, we know that, you know, they got two really good scores in Black Bryant and Sampson. So our main focus was uh, take those two out of the offense, uh, make other people hurt us. Um, and for the most part, besides a stretch where Samson hit a couple threes, I thought we did a pretty good job in that. Um, and you know, foul trouble for Samson also helped us out with that. But that was our main focus. Your coach told us earlier this week, I'm sure he told you guys, winning that first game of the tournament, he thinks is always the toughest to, to get going. Uh, what was it, the spark that got you guys going and, and got rolling there eventually? I mean, it's tournament time. You know, everyone's excited to play. We're excited to play. You know, coming in as the number one seed, you know, we, uh, we have a lot to prove and we're ready to go out and win this championship. So, you know, just taking it one day at a time, one game at a time, you know, being focused and mentally prepared that, that week coming into this. So we're just ready to go. Thank you. Um, for both of you, uh, one year's time, how much improvement have you seen from Omar Pruitt? And uh, just a statement about his performance today as well. Uh, well, first off, you know, he gained that year of experience uh, as a sophomore, and that, that helps a lot, especially in college basketball. Um, and he worked really hard in the offseason in the weight room, uh, you know, getting stronger. That was a big uh, aspect of his game that helped improve his all-around game. And his decision-making is getting better. And, you know, it's just it's, it's great to have a player like him on the team. You know, and just uh, like you said, the experience, you know, uh, each year the game kind of slows down for you a little bit more. You know, so I think he sees the floor better. Um, you see certain things he may not have seen last year a lot better. You know, just like you said, working in the offseason, that always helps. So um, you understand the offense a lot better, having a year under your belt. So just his overall improvement as a player, and uh, we're really proud of him and great to see the way he played today. Down here. Marcus, you didn't get your first bucket till eight minutes remaining in the first half. Tell us how it make your life easier to have a team full of guys that still can keep the lead when, when you get off to a slow start. It's great. You know, um, it allows me to just kind of go with the flow of the game. I don't really have to force anything, force anything per se. You know, I have a lot of guys that make a lot of contributions, and you know that really puts a lot of pressure on teams that we play. You know, in their defense, that they can't just focus on myself or any one player on our team. You know, they kind of have to um, stop our team as a whole. So you know, um, I know I'll be able to get going, whatever that may be. You know, but we had a lead. You know, I only, I only took one shot, so that's great to see, and that's you know a really great comment to our team and what we represent as a team. Uh, either one of y'all can answer this question. Uh, from last game to this game when y'all played them, what was the game plan coming out for this game? We just we just tried to put the last game behind us. You know, we, we lost to Drexel at home, and we know we had to kind of put that behind us and come in tournament time knowing that we're the number one seed, everyone's out to get us, so we got to play crisp and hard, and if we do that, we should take care of business. Okay. Marcus, there at the end of the first half, you guys are running the clock, and you didn't quite realize how much time was left. Coach was yelling at you. Yeah, yeah uh, uh, we have. Can you a, just take me through that and what <laughs> what you saw happen. Yeah, we have a set play we run at the end of half, and uh, I recognized the time coming up, and I was trying to get guys in the right position. During that, I lost track of time, so uh, luckily I was able to hit a shot. You know, we could smile about it because if I had missed, I'm sure it wouldn't have been the same. But uh, uh, so that's what happened there. Yeah, I turned I turned back around to see what he was saying. Then he then I saw it was four seconds left, so I went and tried to make a play. For either one of you guys, can you talk about the contributions of Connor Birchfield and those two shots he hits early in the game and what kind of spark from a freshman that gives you guys? That's huge. You know, um, he's a great shooter. You know, you guys may not have known, may not have seen him as much this year, but, uh, you know, in practice he lights it up. You know, he's a great, great kid, uh, a lot of confidence. So, 
you know, for him to be able to come out and shoot the ball with confidence like that is huge for us. You know, uh, like I said, so many guys can contribute for us, so many scores, so many good guys that can do different things, you know, really makes us a team, and uh, that's what's put us atop. Terry, you guys are really comfortable shooting the three-pointer, obviously, today was a good example of that. What, what does Coach tell you about when you have a green light and, and when he's comfortable with you guys taking those shots? Uh, he just he just wants to take wants us to take good shots, um, and you know threes for us are usually good shots. But um, you know he's he we work on shooting a lot in practice. We all have confidence shooting the three, um, and you know he's he's happy with the three as long as it's a good shot. Um, that good shot comes in a lot of different times in the shot clock, different situations. Um, but you know as, as long as it's a good shot, he he wants us to put it up. Terry, you guys have played Elon three times now this season. They, they, they hit 13 threes last night, pretty much half that today with seven. Is that a key for trying to keep them from doing what they want to do is limit the threes? Yeah, definitely, because um, our first game at Elon, they really lit it up from behind the arc. And so that was a point of emphasis, uh, scouting them the second time, and especially uh, scouting them this time. Because um, that's a big part of their game. Like I said before, Samson and Bryant can really shoot the ball. and. Um, yeah, we, we try to take that away from them. Okay. Anything else for these guys? One one more, last one in the back. Marcus, as a senior in your last CAA tournament, can you tell us what it means to you and, and do you approach it any differently being a senior? Thank you. Um, not necessarily. You know, uh, you know, you definitely want to win, but we've always wanted to win. You know, uh, I think we're in a great position to win this year, so that may be the difference this year. Um, but, you know, just staying focused, you know, focusing on team goals. We all have the same common goal. You know, playing hard with these guys and just going out with a bang. So, looking forward to it. All right. Thank you, guys. We'll have Coach Shaver here in just a second. Here with Wayne Mayor Head Coach Tony Shaver. Coach Shaver, your uh, comments on the victory, and then uh, if you have questions, raise your hand. We'll bring the microphone around. Well, good win for our guys, no question about it. I mean, I, I think the thing I'm most pleased with is that, you know, being the number one seed for the first time in history, uh, we talked a lot this week about being the aggressive team. You know, have, playing with no fear out here tonight, and and I thought our kids looked pretty relaxed and pretty confident on the basketball floor tonight, and. Uh, that's a neat thing. That's a neat thing because there's a lot, a lot of, uh, it's been put on their shoulders here. But um, really, really proud of the win and uh, really proud of our attitude on the floor tonight. Okay. Questions? Just raise your hand. Right here. Coach, when you guys came to Boston, you said that your team had a lot of pressure on their backs. I mean, how do you feel your team is handling that now with this opening win? Good. I mean, really good. I think we've adjusted to it a little bit. and. Uh, Maybe our approach has changed a little bit, too. Uh, you know, we've been fortunate enough to be in the championship game in three out of the last seven years. And some of those were honestly great accomplishments to get there. This team thinks it's good enough to win and, and is approaching this tournament to win this tournament. Um, you know, I've probably been a coach in the past a little bit that's tried to shield them from the pressure of our past. And uh, I've talked a lot about, you know, this is not this team's burden, you know, to, to be the first. Well, this team wants to be the first. And uh, it, it, so we're, we're embracing the opportunity we have. We're embracing the success this team's had this year. And, and we want to go after it. Samson <clears throat> fouls out early in the second half. You guys go on a little bit of a run. I know con containing him was key for you guys. What were you able to do there with, when the game opened up a little bit? On Samson? Yeah. Well, he's such a great shooter. And uh, you know we split with, <clears throat> excuse me. We split with Elon during the regular season. At their place, Samson and Bryant had 45 combined points. We did a very poor job of guarding their shooters. Uh, I thought in our place at home and tonight, we did a much better job of sense of urgency, quite honestly, of, of following their shooters, knowing where their shooters were at all time, and, and making it tough for them to score. I thought even when they did score at times, they really had to earn those baskets. 
Coach, it seemed like whenever you two play, the three point line is it's the, it's the golden golden thing in the uh, in the game. Uh, fifty six attempts combined in January and fifty two tonight. Tell us why does it why does uh, it seem like that the three point line is the must must win thing in this game? Well, if you got you good shoot? shooters, you want to shoot them. Uh, you know, and we want to shoot them, and we've done it all year long. Uh, I think we've been. I'm not a great stat man, but we've been really ranked high nationally and certainly in our conference in, in uh, percentage of shots made. Our offense is very efficient. So I do think there were points tonight that we didn't drive the ball enough, uh, particularly when we got them in foul trouble a little bit, like to have driven the ball, got to the foul line a little bit more. Our team this year has had great balance of shooting the three, but getting to the foul line. Tonight, I don't think we had quite the same balance we would like in that, that area. <coughs> Yeah, Coach, um, you, I mean, you talked a little bit about the defensive emphasis. W what was it tonight um, or today, again, especially with Bryant and um, Sampson? Well, I haven't said this a lot this year, but I think our defense won a game for us tonight. Uh, uh, and, and we just, you know, I, I, I think our coaches did a great job of, our, our assistant coaches of preparing our guys for this game. Uh, you, you've got to take those two guys away because this team can really score the ball. And if you're letting them get open threes, you know, then guys like Hamilton and others become even more impactful in the ball game. So just we really tried to know where they were at all times, whether it was man or zone. And uh, if they made one, it better be over a really highly contested shot. Coach, can you tell me what it means to have Daniel back in the lineup? I know that he had a hamstring injury and missed some of the last few games. Well, I became a better coach when Daniel got back out on the floor, I'll tell you that. Uh, he, he's a key player for us. I mean, he, we've really missed him the last three weeks. In all honesty, he's not close to 100% right now. Uh, he shot the ball reasonably well tonight. He missed a lot of shots, too. But I haven't looked at the stats. He probably was 50%. And I don't even know it, probably. But uh, four for nine, so close to it. But he made some key shots for us tonight. First shot of the game he made. First shot of the second half he made. And I thought he made a really big one. Uh, you know, five or six minutes left in the ball game. They made a little bit of run at us, and he buried one from the right corner. Really big plays for us. He's not moving well defensively right now, but he does give us another 6'5", strong athlete out there that can help us guard guys like Sampson and Bryant. So great to have him back. Also helps our rotation so much, you know, what we can bring off the bench and how we can use our players a little bit. Coach, um, you're fortunate enough to have not only the MVP of the league and Marcus, but the best defense player of the league and Terry, talk a little bit about what a challenge he presents to other teams to have to worry about him at both ends of the floor. Terry? Yes, Terry. I mean, Terry's been as uh, – I've said this a lot this year, but I've never coached a player that's impacted our wins more than Terry Tarpey. Uh, you know, he's worked so hard on his shot that he's a very effective shooter today. Um, we can put him on any player defensively, a one through the four, and he can guard them because uh, he's such a good athlete. He's very long. His anticipation is so good and how he reads the game. I mean, I, I guess I, I'm, I'm stumbling a little bit here, but he, he's the only player in the country to lead his conference in rebounds, assists, and steals. An unbelievable thing to state right there. And he really helps us offensively, too. So uh, again, I've never had anybody impact winning as much as Terry Tarpey does right now. Uh, just a comment on the one-year improvement for Omar Pruitt. Um, I know the last three games, he was having a little bit of struggles as far as his shooting percentage. So today, six for 11, just to comment on his performance. Well, honestly, I, I really believe sincerely, we can't be a great team unless Omar plays well. He's that important to us. Now, other guys are very good too. We've talked about Terry, we got the MVP on our team, but <clears throat> Omar takes us to a new level when he's playing well. Um, six for 11 uh, today, uh, I, I don't, Trying to find him here. One for five from three. He's a better shooter than that. And, uh, and, and once he gets that going again, he, he's really going to take a step up for us. But he's just such a key player for us. Uh, you know, the steals, the, the block shots, deflections in there. Um, he was the one player during that stretch when they went zone who really drove the ball for us and got a couple easy baskets, which was very important. Marcus is three right before halftime. Are you going to take credit for that one? Not at all. <laughs> <laughs> it seemed like you drew his attention to it. Not at all. I called his name out, but he, he really, you know, unusual for Marcus, but didn't see the clock. And he, was, he knew we were going for one, but did not realize there were so few ticks left. So uh, I guess I should say that's exactly how we drew it up, right? <laughs> Anything else? All right. Thanks, guys.